so we're back at Copper Mine Apartments and I have a couple of new sims to introduce you to. Meet childhood best friends Adeline Horton and Rhys Fenton, who both recently moved to Brindledon Bay from the big city of San Myshuno. Adeline hated living and working as a lawyer in the big city. She dreamed of moving to a quieter seaside town with her best friend to start up her own law firm. Reese was more than ready for new pastures to start his personal training company. Being a trans man, he had obstacles to cross in his life, but Adeline was there for him every step of the way. Now these two certainly know how to party. But moving to a quieter town with no local nightclub meant sometimes they had to be the party. And these soirees did not go down well with certain neighbours. Well, hello there, my loves. Happy Tuesday and welcome to Let's Build the Worlds. And welcome to the new couple. We're well, not couple. Are they going to be a couple? I'm going to leave that up to you. I've got a little storyline to go with that as well. So welcome. Reese. can you please open your eyes? Thank you. Hello. Welcome to this new couple here. The lovely, lovely Adeline and Reese. I think these two are just gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. We have needed a trans character in um, this save file for a good hot minute. And I always planned on having them live in this building so welcome to reese reese has just came back from work as well as you can see personal training i have no idea what that big leather belt's for something to do with i don't know something i have, I have no idea no idea now these two are childhood friends they went to play school together which is what in the u.s kindergarten i don't know what it is called around the other areas of the world no idea but there we go met there lived quite near i reckon they lived in um apartments or flats in san Marcino. Um, their parents kind of brought them up in the same block and they were constantly together and nothing has changed then nothing has changed and reese always knew reese always knew he was in the wrong body and he struggled with it a little bit his family were very supportive throughout the whole um process of him becoming who he is and i like hearing stories like this where because you sometimes you always hear the traumatic sort of events with anybody in the lgbtqi plus community um and i just thought it would be nice to have a story where it just comes from a nice background his mum and dad were, and siblings were completely supportive of him um and he had the best start in life of that and that was the majority as well to do with this wonderful creature here oh, i think it's just beautiful she just reminds me of a beautiful snow white or something i don't know what it is about adeline but these two were rev reveling on the gay scene together i'm gonna say adeline is probably bisexual i'm gonna say maybe even pansexual actually i'm gonna say she falls in love with absolutely anybody who has got a good heart and this one here has got a good heart i'm gonna say that adeline has loved reese forever and reese doesn't really see it reese doesn't really see he loves her don't get me wrong but he doesn't really see it he doesn't really see it he kind of um, always thinks it's kind of off the love is from a friendship basis when deep down Adeline is absolutely besotted and she really wants to kind of she's scared that she's going to break up the friendship because of this but she really wants to kind of confess her feelings and I'm going to leave that storyline for you guys to kind of when you get this save file to kind of develop and see what happens between these two now they yeah they like to party but Adeline had a dream about living in a quieter sort of coastal town and she really wanted to make it work. So they pulled the money together, bought this little studio apartment and they're going to try and live here for as long as they can, for as long as they enjoy it uh, and set up their businesses. So that is what's going to happen between these two. I absolutely love them. Don't forget, this is the last week of full content videos. I'm going to try and get out a video or two videos a week while I'm away. Uh, I'm going to try for two, but if you see one week where I only can bring out one video, it's just because I didn't have, like, the time to pre-record. Main reasons being, loves, I didn't get a lot of time between booking the holiday and going. So, 
that might just have to happen. So don't forget, I won't be back until the 20th, which is Tuesday, the 20th of September. Uh, if you want to follow my adventures in Greece, then you can always follow me on Instagram because I'll definitely be posting some stories and stuff up on there. So this is the, the flat or the apartment that we're going to be moving these two into. Now, don't forget, I want two separate beds for this. It's a bit of a party place as well. Um, so I'm thinking about raising a platform up again and trying to separate the two off somehow. Um, even if it's just with like a nice bookcase or something, giving them both each a double bed as well. So we're definitely going to be playing around with space here. I might even have to do like a small kitchenette like we did down um, in Camden's apartment here. So we did that like small little kitchenette area and had like an entertaining space. I'm kind of feeling that for these two as well. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. And I'm very excited. But maybe a mismatch of styles in this place as well. Um, I forgot to even mention Adeline on the side is a burlesque performer. Um, and she came full fruit into that through the gay scene. She was just like, that looks amazing. That looks like a complete juxtaposition against her kind of career and stuff. So that's what she does. Tassel it hits, darlings, and all of that good stuff. I love burlesque. I love seeing that art form. So I'm very excited. Um, I wish we had nipple tassels, for goodness sake, but we didn't. I even looked. I even looked for some custom content. Also, you will notice that I had some top surgery scars on Reese as well. If you want links to them, I will leave them down below in the um, description. They are custom content. So... Um, I really like to see something like that actually in the game, considering we've got body scars and stuff now. Very would love to see that. Thank you. Anyway, I've waffled on enough. Oh my God, I've talked for so long. Let's get into game and let's start finishing this apartment. Okay, so here we are. We are in the top floor apartment um, of the second building. I don't know why you needed to know that, but you didn't need to know that. It was just me being an absolute minge. So... <laughs> Minges are lovely, by the way. Don't don't get me wrong. They're just not for me. They're not for me, loves. <laughs> so we are going to do what we did with Camden's apartment. I'm even going to copy um, that platform texture because that really worked over there. And I'm going to put in two beds on this side. Now, I'm not going to say um, Adeline, Adeline is goth, but she does like a bit more of a darker aesthetic. She does like a little bit more of a darker aesthetic. So I think we're going to do that for her bed. What's in here? What's deleted? Oh, God, this is from all their careers and stuff, isn't it? Well, we'll get rid of them. Don't you worry. Um, so I'm going to probably pick their beds and we'll work from those. So I think these beds here match their personalities quite well. Now, as I said, this um, apartment is going to be a mix of styles, a mishmash of styles here and there. I reckon they've only recently just moved in as well. So I'm going to make that kind of feel a bit apparent. Everything's maybe still in boxes. Um, I'm going to go down that route and we'll see We'll see what we come up with. We'll see what happens. Now, my thoughts were, was separating the room off with this here, which I have sized down to a 0.9. Um, but I'm unsure because it doesn't really give us enough room now to put in any kind of wardrobe situation. So I'm thinking maybe just separating it off even with some like clothes rails or something. I don't know how we're going to go about that just yet. Uh, I really, really don't know how we're going to go about that. I'm going to put stairs across here. So we're going to have two kind of separate areas. Maybe this can be the kitchenette with a small dining table or something here. Um, and this is obviously going to be a bit more of a living room area. But as I said, I don't know how we're going to separate this off. So I need to work through some ideas. Uh, and I'll be right back. So I had a change of plan. Now, the bookcase and stuff just wasn't working there. It was just, it was just looking weird. And the middle staircase was just odd. It just kept deleting and stuff. So I got rid of it. And I've gone for this way instead. So we've gone for quite a kind of a hefty half wall, really. And what that does, it just acts as a bit of privacy to the actual bedrooms itself. Whilst also giving them both their own wardrobe, um, I'm sure... That Reese should be able to get into here. I'm thinking about changing the colour of this, though, for more of a brown. Oh, we don't really have a brown with that. Uh, maybe a graven? Mm, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. And they've both got their complete uh, own staircase as well up to their bedroom. So I just thought that worked really well. And I didn't want to go for this because it kind of swamped it in too much. Like, because I did all of 
these panels here on the half walls in the other apartments. It just swamped it a bit too much in this one. So I've decided not to do it for this one. Um, even though she has got this wonderful view out. I've put a beam across where I've also put a spotlight on it. So it does light that area up quite nicely. Um, and I'm kind of for that. I'm kind of for that. So we need to put some details and some personality. We're going to start with Adeline's bedroom first. So let's get a lovely rug in on the go, to be honest. Now, I came up with Adeline's name because of a movie that I watched recently. I forgot what it's called. It's with Blake Lively. Adeline, that's something of Adeline. It was really good, really good uh, about a woman who never ages. Um, I've never seen it before. I got recommended to it. Watched it. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. I've never really seen Blake Lively act in anything before. So she was good. She came across really well in that. Yes, she did. Anyway, I need to find a rug, as I said. We're going to go for this one. Going to go for this one here from the Werewolf Pack. I just think it works well. Uh, and it just screams Adeline to me. It really does. A little bit more of that darker aesthetic that I'm for with her. Um, so I'm going to do that. I am. I'm going to do it. Wardrobe stays where it is. I'm thinking he about here, putting a mirror on this side. I'm wondering, I don't know if we can or not, but I'm wondering if we can use that big, tall, leaning one. Um, This one here in this room. I mean, no, because you kind of like go into that texture there. That is a shame, but that will not stop me now from putting on maybe this one. Oh no, that one there goes right against the half wall. Well, it's going to need to be a standalone one then, really, isn't it? Oh, 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 that's very hefty, that. I don't think she'll be able to squeeze past, but... Oh, will she be able to squeeze past? That's a good mirror for in here. Even this one, actually. A bit of that, like, movie stuff. Yes, we'll do that. I reckon she's very much into this silver screen movie stars as well. Where she gets a lot of her inspiration for all the way she looks day to day. And also her burlesque performances. She does a wicked Marilyn Marilyn Monroe striptease. <laughs> Yes, I did fail at saying that. Um, Marilyn Monroe. There we go. I got it. Look at me go. Look at me. So maybe, or even a bit of Rita. Is this Rita Hayworth? I think it might be. I could be wrong. I'm not well versed on me, um, me silver screen actresses and actors. Yeah, a bit of you. And maybe even a Marilyn as well, just for good measure. Oh, I'm kind of feeling that. But she had time to get her favourite art pieces up in her bedroom. Oh, yes. I'm kind of feeling it. And I just think we need something behind here. I'm wondering. Hmm. Do you? You probably don't because you came with the high school pack. Do you come with a darker aesthetic? No, you're all very... Oh, oh. Well, slap me down with a feather and tickle my tits and call me Shirley, darlings. I don't think that's going to work anyway, so that is a bit pointless. I just wanted like a little bit of like that kind of vibe for some reason on the wall. Let's see if I can find anything else. We're going to go for that. We're going to go for those curtains from, I think they're from the Paranormal Pack, aren't they? Yeah. I just like it. A little bit more boudoir, you know? A little bit, little bit more boudoir. And I'm thinking of adding in an extra light on this part here. Maybe using that like Art Deco-y kind of vibe in here would work well. Let's size you down just a tad, my sweet. And flop you to there. Oh, I'm kind of feeling that. Yep, I'm feeling it. And I think to finish off Adeline's side, I'm going to move you in a little bit more. And I'm going to put some shoes just here, I think. Hopefully, we can find a pair fitting. Probably these in a darker... She definitely loves her heels, does Adeline. Mm, there is no dark aesthetic with them, really. So I'm just going to use these here and just whiffle them into play. Oh, God, they're court shoes. She would not be seen dead in court shoes. She, well, actually, take that back, loves. Take that back. She is a lawyer after all, you know? I think we're going to add them in there just on that side. And as I said, a lot of their things is probably in storage as well because they knew this place wasn't big. They're just starting off before they can buy their own place. Hopefully together. I would love to see these two together. So please make that happen. Whoever um, plays around with this save file. <laughs> because I would like to see it. Thank you. Moving on to Reese's side. So Reese is a little bit more... A little bit more... Not minimal. But I wouldn't say he's that much into styling. And 
those kind of aspects. He leaves that all to Adeline. He doesn't really care what he's got up on his walls. I might put up some great sports. Um, maybe t-shirts, memorabilia. We'll put them up on the wall. I know there is a framed, um, like, jersey somewhere. So I'll find that. And maybe some posters. There we go. Gone for that instead. Signed, um poster from his favorite sports team and also all of his awards and stuff that he's won through sports throughout the years oh, i'm kind of into that oh yes i am now he should be able to get here no problem but i don't know really what curtain i'm going to use up on here just yet uh, so i'll leave that for a minute and i think i'm just going to concentrate on getting a little mirror in reese's bedroom as well so maybe just something a little bit more a little bit less decorative and a little bit more just, you know, like that kind of vibe. Yeah, I think that would work, actually. I'm going to flop you in, my love. Um, If you just go to about... Oh, God, that's quite chunky, that. Yeah, to about there. To about there. I'm not going to put a rug down in Reese's room, either. I'm just going to leave it completely bare wood. Oh, that's cute. I'm for it. Now what I need to figure out is what... How we're going to do this little kitchenette here. Maybe could get a dining space here. Don't know just yet. And I need to find a um, curtain, some blinds, some blinds or curtains. So, did a little bit of testing, a little bit of testing clothes. And I've, it works. It works. And it's a full kitchen as well. Small, but it, it, it works. It just works. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to flop this in together. Uh, Fridge-wise, I reckon this was their first big maybe purchase together. In my head, all of these apartments come um, empty, minus the one downstairs that we did together. And they give you options maybe about if you want anything installed, like the kitchen. So that's the storyline, loves. That's the storyline. So that's why they're all a little bit different. Um, yeah, storylines. Storylines, loves. You know, what more can be said? Now we're going to put a little sink in this side here as well. I think we're going to add in... Maybe that one would work in here, wouldn't it? Oh, it does indeed. And we can even add four cupboards in this bit here as well, because it's straight across the wall. Uh, we're going to flop you to there, you to there, and you to there, my love. Shows in the blinds, but we've just gone for some nice general Ikea ones. Um, vibing. And then I'm going to slop up. Slop? Yep. We're going to slop up that one. <laughs> Whatever slop is, you know? And then I'm going to add in a little... Maybe just use it. I hate this one, but I think we're going to add it in. We are. We're going to do it. It's fine. It matches in okay with the oven as well. So that's not too shabby. Oh! Oh, I'm vibing. I'm absolutely vibing. Full kitchen. Yes, we haven't got a bin. But I'll flop a bin in somewhere. Don't you worry, my loves. Let me just get everything else situated. And by everything else, I'm thinking about doing... Will we, will we be able to do this? That is the question thinking about putting in um like some island space as in these sort of counters here uh because i do want a little space for adeline to work on um whatever she needs to work on i think that would work wouldn't it oh, will they be able to i don't know this is gonna uh... Will that oven still work? I'll play a test it. I'll play a test it, but I'm sure it will. And if it doesn't, I'll have to figure out something else. So, Barstools. Barstools. She's into a little bit, of maybe Art Deco kind of style. Oh, we could like pop in a little bit of green. Or in, even a red, a rouge. Oh, I hate the colour of underneath of them. Um, black would look weird. The pink was, the green was looking the best. But the pink would go as well. But I don't think... Uh, no, that doesn't vibe. This one here, I think, would suit. Let's flop that into place there. Oh, I don't know if they're going to be able to use that oven. Now I'm looking at it. No, it's not going to work. So we've done that instead. I think that looks fine. I think that looks fine. They should be able to get in there no problem as well. Um, Kind of vibing. Vibing with that, Barstools. I'm vibing. And that frees up this space quite nicely then as well. I may even, no, I can't. I was just about to say add a bin in there, but it's too, you need to be careful with the space down here. Yes, you do indeed. Now, because they've just moved in, moved in, I'm not going to do too much decorating. 
We are now, however, going to concentrate on their kind of sitting area, really. Their sitting area, but I do want um, them to be able to have music and TV and stuff when they've got guests over and things, and also a sofa. So first stop, I think I'm going to give them quite a big sofa to fill up this space quite nicely. Um, I do need to be careful because I still need to get a bin in here as well. So hopefully we can do that. So first up is a sofa. Now the sofa in my head is probably the dream home decorate. Oh, even you. Oh, that would look nice in here, wouldn't it? Oh, that is a cute little sofa for in here. Oh, even in the green, the pastel. Even in the pastel. Can we do a black? I mean, we could. That is very much Adeline all over though, isn't it? The black. Do you know what? We're going to vibe with that. That's almost making me want to change colour of the appliances in the kitchen there which I might do I might have to do that to be honest um if I change this to a black that's not black and this one can I change that one as well oh you can oh oh I'm kind of vibing I wish that came with like a pastel like pillow on it instead of that one but I am kind of vibing with that Yep, I'm here for it. We're doing it. Oh, do, can I change the colour of you? Oh, we can. Oh. <laughs> can I have that green? I don't think we can. No, there's no pastel green, which is a shame. There is a pink, though. Ugh, no, that doesn't go well. No, I even tried to change all of the appliances, everything to black, and it just wasn't working. It just wasn't working with this. And I know, like, Adeline's got a bit more of a darker aesthetic, but I think this is a bit more of a friendly, neutral space. Uh, for their friends to enjoy. But that's what I'm going to do. Yes, I am. Now, as I said, they really like their music and TV. So I'm thinking I could probably add in this into this room. Again, I could add that there would even go tighter in as well. Filth. Um, so I'm thinking about doing that. Mm, do I want to get that in black? Not really, no. Not really. But the only problem... Is that everything else um, is a little bit too warm toned, the wood and stuff. So I think I'm just going to go for this one. Um, I'm going to move you along now, my darling, to here. I do want a bookcase in here, but where the hell I'm going to try and put one? I have no idea because that door is going to open there. I could probably find a smaller one to put here, couldn't I? So I think I'm going to do that. I know there's a bookcase on here, but I want another one. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a bin in. A bin in. I'm going to put a bloody bin in, loves. I know. Look at me go. Remembering to put a bin in. Oh. Oh, how wonderful. Right next to the sofa as well. Stunning. <laughs> Do you have a waft? Maybe find one. Is there any with a lid? I don't think there is, isn't it? Apart from this one. We're going to use this one. We'll use this one so it's got a lid. Just so we haven't got an open bin next to the sofa. You know? It's not a good vibe, to be honest. It's not a good vibe. Unless. <gasps> oh. I've just thought, let me just, let me have a little tinker. So what I've done instead, I've moved the fridge along over to this side here. And I've slotted the bin in between the stairs and the TV unit there. Um, I just didn't want the bin to be next uh, to the sofa. I, 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 I wouldn't want that in real life and I do not want it for my Sims. Thank you. Um, and I'm kind of for that. I'm kind of for that. Also pulled out this little poof here as well, my loves. Also pulled out that. But my thoughts were, this here is just kind of not working now. Storylines. I think, as I said, they, they throw their own parties and stuff. So I think them having something like this would just suit them a lot more. A big, huge blaster to absolutely annoy the tits off of Tarquin. I was kind of vibing with that. But then that doesn't give us enough room to slot in a TV. But then I was wondering, I could probably put this above it, like so. And this is like one of the only um, apartments that I've done with a TV in here as well. So I know that's very high, but they can't be fussy on space in here. You've seen how sh small these apartments are. Um, so I think I'm going to go down that route of it. Oh, I'm kind of vibing with that. Yeah, I think that would work a lot better. I think that would definitely work a lot better. Blast in the music. Absolutely for it. Um, I do want to get a rug here. Gone for this sheepskin rug. Now, I got rid of the buffet. 
because as I said, I still wanted it to look like they've just moved in here. They haven't had time to kind of like stylize everything properly. So I've done some moving boxes, some bits of um, clothes and stuff and just random knickknacks underneath of a bookcase here. Um, and I put up a little neon sign as well just to match it through. So this isn't really the most aesthetic of apartments that we've done so far, but I just think it tells a story of these two and I'm for that. I'm for that. They've just freshly moved here together. They're brand new to Brindleton Bay and they're just getting their, they're just getting their foot set in, you know, and I'm kind of vibing with this. I really am. Can we go up please? Thank you. So this is, this is their little apartment. I do like the kind of taller half walls with the bedrooms behind it. I think that looks really, really cool. Really, really cool. So this is a little kitchen area where Adeline does a little bit of work too. Obviously, Reese's bedroom. Adeline's bedroom up there. Oh, I'm for it. And um, the little kitchen, the little living room nook. That is, they've still got to put their stamp on and make everything look homely and lived in. Um, but I'm kind of for this. I really am. I really am. And I think that's why we're going to leave it today. Now, we have got... We have got two more apartments to fill. I am going to be making a sim tomorrow on stream. So Wednesday's stream, I'm going to be making another sim to move into this place. I have already made the sim that is going to be moving into this place. And I will be back tomorrow with the newest person moving in to um, Copper Mine Apartments. So I'm very excited about that. Very excited about it indeed. Can't believe we're nearly done with this build. I've had so much fun. So I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight as well. At 7 p.m. BST, we're going to be playing some of the Mortary Assistant, which is a horror game that I have already played and pooed myself. So if you do want to come and join us, then I will be live then. I'll be back tomorrow with the next part of this. Thank you so much for watching, my loves. And I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.